If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. So I actually didn't want to report on this because I thought it was too much of like the drama and gossip of the whole thing, but um, something that's been talked about a lot now on hip hop portals and platforms is this whole Quavo Saweetie situation. So I thought I'd give you kind of like the breakdown of what happened, kind of my own take on this, and how the whole thing should be judged. Because, uh, you know, a lot of people jump to conclusions very soon and just had their opinion already formed before, you know, all the evidence was presented. And I wanted to kind of give a clear picture of, of you know, the situation. So Quavo and Saweetie have of course uh, been dating for some time. It was almost three years. I read in a, in a Double XL article. Um, both I thought that that couple was really something. Uh, you know, it was really special. It was cute in hip hop. They both kind of had their own lanes going on, but still uh, never really interfered with each other's careers and were just able to work together. Uh, professionally while still having that relationship I thought that was really cool but of course that came to an end uh, Sweetie made this breakup public and I think it was on March 19th so about two weeks ago um, and then some you know a bunch of stuff happened they both kind of you know threw some subliminal shots Quavo posted a picture of himself in the studio possibly recording something for Culture 3 which of course was still waiting for that new Migos album he posted himself in the in the studio with the mic and then like an angry emoji um, so you know, as I already said in my videos on Culture 3, maybe, you know, some of this breakup energy from Quavo was going to be channeled into Culture 3, which would definitely um, be, some, you know, a positive in this negative situation. Um, because I think, you know, something like that can really make you go hard and ma make you make great music. Um, but anyway. Besides that, Saweetie also made some comments that weren't, that were kind of childish, kind of like subliminally uh, shooting at Quavo, which I thought was just, you know, stuff like that is going to happen in any public breakup or any, you know, celebrity couple that had been dating for such a long time. Um, so that was just the normal, you know, the kind of normal uh, uh, circumstances that surround a breakup like this. But then something happened that even the LAPD is now uh, in investigating. And this was this video, the surveillance of camera footage that surfaced a couple of days ago. And this footage kind of shows um, Quavo and Saweetie fighting over a briefcase and Quavo kind of pulling Saweetie into an elevator before the door closes and then throwing her onto the ground. And a lot of people, of course, immediately said, oh, Quavo was physically abusive and all that. Um, and there's, you know, a lot of a lot of voices that are for both sides on here now one thing it's that's important to mention this video was not taken during their public breakup this was actually footage from last year 2020 so this was while they were still together and i think a lot of people miss that detail because they're saying oh um, you know, Saweetie broke up with Quavo when he didn't take it right, so he had to, you know, he physically abused her and, and beat her, which is, of course, not the case. I have to defend my man Quavo right here and say that um, this was probably just an altercation between the two over something that was private, and now people are making it this big thing. Um, and as I said, uh, people accuse Quavo of being physically abusive. He has since then come out with a statement saying that he's never physically abused uh, Saweetie or any girl. And I think Saweetie also um, also kind of confirmed this and said that that was just something that happened between the two and that it actually has nothing to do with their breakup, uh, which I think was important that they cleared the air. But uh, still, this, this video just surfaced at the perfect moment, so it kind of feels like maybe it was a setup to make Quavo look even worse than he had already had his reputation kind of, um, you know, taking a hit from the whole Saweetie breakup because she kind of dealt with the whole thing more publicly than him. Uh, I think, which in a way is more childish, I think, if, if they just kept it private like Quavo did, then it might have, you know, ended better, but Saweetie made some public comments about it, which, as I said, I thought was childish, but it's all good, that, that just happens. But in this case, I think a lot of people are now looking at Quavo as this bad person, which 
I absolutely don't think is true. Um, I, of course, don't know Quavo personally, duh, but from what I know, from what I've seen over the years of his public appearance for, through his music, of course, that's just uh, a role he's playing, but I do think that you can tell that he's not someone who would physically abuse his girlfriend. And um, yeah, that's just kind of what I got to say about this because it just doesn't sit right with me to see someone that might not even be guilty of anything be dragged down by this just because some footage from a year ago was now brought up again in this whole public breakup between the two so yeah um let me know what you think about this do you think that they actually had some sort of physical altercation um that was unfair do you think that the whole breakup thing is kind of not sitting right and that there is something you know kind of going on that's not really right um let me let me just know your thoughts on this that that's my take on it i don't think people should uh just see these headlines and immediately jump to conclusions i am still in in kind of hopes and good hopes for quavo um that he's a good man and yeah that's just my thoughts on it let me know what you think about this in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.